And welcome back. This is Baller School with an episode of Let's Play StarCraft 2. Couple things. Couple things I need to go over first. Number one, you might be able to see my mouse. That's kind of important in this game. Number two, I have turned up the volume on the uh, the background a little bit. We'll see how that works in this video. And number three, I'm going to try to be a little bit more helpful. I should say I'll, I'll try to teach the game a little bit better from this point on. Hopefully you guys can make it to this point without necessarily needing my help. They do have the tutorials for that in case you uh, ne you really need help on the first two missions. But now we're back in Joey Ray's bar. Let's check out this badge. Oh man, didn't the magistrate here know he was hiring an arch criminal as his marshal? He was counting on it. Guess my tough guy reputation kept things nice and quiet around here. All the time I wore that badge, I never had to shoot anybody. Well, where's the fun in that? Nice. Now it's time to watch the news. Thanks for staying with us. Let's go now to Kate Lockwell with an update on Jim Rayner's violent uprising. Thanks, Donnie. Rayner's clearly widening his list of targets. He's attacked a Dominion archaeological dig and possibly seized a dangerous alien artifact. Emperor Mansk spoke on this subject earlier today. There's no telling what kind of habit these supposedly innocuous relics might wreak upon our worlds. Anyone found in possession of these items will be dealt with to the fullest extent of the law. Look on the bright side, partner. You're a wanted man either way. Thanks, Tigers. Shocking, Kate. I imagine civilian casualties were high as a result of Rainer's terrorist actions. Actually, the only civilian deaths appear to be collateral damage from overzealous Dominion security forces. Uh, thanks, Kate. You heard it here first. Jim Rainer, killing women and children on Marsara. Dick, that's not what the correspondent said at all. Ooh, skull. What was it like, Jimmy? Fighting him, Zerg. All the scrapes we were in back in the day, all the narrow escapes, none of it compares to how terrible they are, Tychus. You don't know what real fear is till you've got a thousand of these sons of bitches barreling down on you. If there's a thousand of them, you're screwed. I'm just saying that right off the bat. How you doing? What is this swill? That's what she said last time, so let's talk to Tychus instead. So who's your mysterious buyer, Tychus? Who are we supposed to hand this artifact over to? A bunch of eggheads I ran into called the Mobius Foundation. Mobius? They're a legitimate research group. Why the hell are they talking to you? Soon as your boy Mansk made it illegal to trade in alien goods, they got desperate. And you know me, Jimmy. I am a great patron of the sciences. You look like it, you and your marine outfit. Right, let's change that. Because I think that last one is copyrighted. I don't like copyrighted music. Freedom! Have to say, Jimmy. You turned into a real impressive fighter. If I was old Minsk, I'd be running scared for me too. You really mean that, Tychus? Nah, I was just kidding. <laughs> well, that's kind of nice. What else do we have up here? There was another one. Hunt. What's this? I heard them Zerg got burned out by them creepy Protoss a few years back. It's been four years and they're still finding burrowed dens out in the wastelands. Well, a trophy like that's gotta fetch a good price on a black market. Up for some hunting, partner? Knock yourself out, Tychus. Me? I've hunted enough Zerg for two lifetimes. Aww. Poor Jim. He's kind of upset. Alright, that looks like it's all that we can do here. So it's time to head on and take on the mission. What do we have? With the artifact secure, you need to wait for transport at Backwater Station before you can leave Marsara. Transportation is on the way. Caution is advised. Dominion security forces may succeed in tracking the artifact to the station. Oh, this one. I remember the uh, the achievements for this one being ridiculously hard. 
I've got transport coming to pick us up. All we gotta do is sit tight. Don't sound too hard. I figure we earned ourselves a little R&R. &R. Commander, I'm detecting a massive concentration of Zerg biosignatures landing at the abandoned dig site. I should have known it. Damn it, I swear, man, I didn't know nothing about no Zerg. Given their current course, the Zerg will overrun this location within the hour. Yeah. We gotta hold out long enough for extraction. If we man the bunkers and hold those two bridges as long as we can, we just might stand a chance. <laughs> We're gonna have a real fight on our hands here. I've been in plenty of holdouts before. Not against the Zerg, you ain't. Alright, let's see if I can get this done. I remember it being pretty tough on Brutal. I remember some strategies that I might might want to use here and then hopefully the optional um, the optional objectives are not too difficult because I remember the achievements being really hard and those were what killed me was trying to go I believe um, I had to actually leave the safety of this little protection here to go out and try to kill the Zergs and that that that's hard and I don't want to do that if I don't have to so hopefully the achievements or the optional um, the optional objectives are not go out and destroy them because that was tough. Of course, I did that on brutal, so hopefully I, I can handle this. What is taking this so long to load? Seriously, this is this is taking a lot longer than it normally does. I don't like the looks of this. All right, let's let's get this done. Alright, these are your SCVs here. You want to put them on the mineral line immediately. Uh, I hit the command center, hit control 4, and automatically there, um, I need to train an SCV. Uh, the setting them the rally point on the minerals and continually producing SCVs at all time. On top of that, I am going to put a reactor down here and a tech lab down here. Um, the reactor will get me twice as many marines as a uh, normal production. Um, Alright, uh, so four, I can s just, without without having to come back here, I can, I can train another SCV. Let's go ahead and load these four into the bunker. These guys need to stay a little bit behind, bunch up just a little bit. Alright, you, you guys are my number five. You need to rally point there. No, both of you are number five. Just double click and that'll work for them. Need another SCV. Just constantly making SCVs. That is your number one objective right now. And then, Insufficient best beam gas. here comes the first wave of Zerglings. You can let them destroy all this stuff all you come. want. Lock and load. They're only coming from the left side, it looks like. But hopefully the bunker will hold. <sighs> looks like it will, just in case, though. I'm going to take one of my SCVs and come over here to repair it. Looks like these guys are going to make it, no problem. I do need more SCVs, of course. SCVs repairing those bunkers. There's only one bunker that needs to be repaired. Why are there two of you out here? I don't, I don't like two of you. Okay. I also need to build a supply depot. Supply depot, will give me more supply. Awesome. So they are asking for our help way over here. I do want to help them. So I'm gonna unload the bunker, bunch these guys up, Additional making sure I'm getting as many SCVs as I can. I'm just gonna try to attack move right here. Hopefully it works out. Let's get another supply depot. Another one of those just in case. All right, a couple. It looks like a Hydra came up, but they took it out. I assume there's going to be more. Yes, and there's the Hydra. Down it goes. These guys are not as fearsome as they were in StarCraft One, if you guys played that. And now we get a few more Marines. Uh, damn it. Two of you need to go repair that. You guys need to come over here and help out. 
They've got roaches. Ugh, there's that roach. Hate that roach. Multiple air bogeys All right. detected. ETA, right the hell now. What's going you guys on? need to be on gas. You two repair those. Because they got mutilisks on the way. And I want that thing to live. Alright. More SCVs, as always. I need you to build another supply depot. Uh, so I can start building more units. And I can start making, uh, start making medics, which is important. Additional supply depots. Yeah, no, additional supply depots. I also am going to go for the infantry level 1 upgrade so that these guys can do a little bit more damage. I might... Uh, there's my first medic. She has got some healing to do. I'm thinking about getting a, another barracks. Let's go ahead and do that. Not enough minerals. So that I can increase my production. Of course, the more barracks I have, the faster I can produce. Basic, basic stuff. Okay. She needs to heal some people. Uh, you guys can go over here. It looks like they're gathering forces over here. So I'm going to move uh, some of you guys over here. Keep building supply depots, keep building SCVs. What I want is 20 uh, to 20, uh, 22 on uh, on the mineral line itself. All right, everybody needs to come over here. One of the strategies that you could use. Okay. What I was gonna say is. Um, one of the strategies that you can use is salvaging everything out here, outside here, and just try to hold everybody in here. I will need to get more missile turrets up eventually, but not right now. Just constantly making SCVs, um, Marines, medics, anything I can really do. Alright, I'm short on minerals, which is a little surprising. Um, but I'm still doing I'm still doing good. And then once I get these guys, I'm probably going to be yeah. Uh. I'm gonna uh, yeah. Every time you gather new units, it's gonna put your supply up. Okay, you guys need to come back. And then I need another supply depot. Now I'm getting close to saturation here. I want it to be about there. So just one or two more SCVs and I should be good. Let's go ahead and get infantry uh, armor upgrade level one. Uh, looks like they're going to come over from the right hand side this time. Additional supply depots required. And I think that's going to do it for SCVs for now. I think I'm good with that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, that's going to be good. You still need to keep making those. Um, I need a few more missile turrets, actually. Roger. SCB ready. He, he grabbed minerals with him, that's fine. Just making um, marines and medics now. That's my main goal. If a couple, if a couple of the marines die, that's fine. It looks like they're going to come on this side now. You can kind of see them on the mini-map here. Um, the doctor is in. I do need to repair the bunker. Uh, what you can do is set them to auto-repair and then just hang them out anywhere in the general vicinity and they will go help. I'm going to get another SCV just in case. Yes, I do need more supply. I always need more supply until I hit 200. It's hard to say where they're coming from. It looks like they might be coming from both sides, so I do need to split my forces up a bit. All right, you got you can go back to to harvesting. Additional supply depot. More supply, of course, more supply. You guys can go there. I guess one more SUV won't hurt. 
base is under attack. Oh, damn. Get over there. Repair, repair, repair. Once it, once it gets into red, why aren't you why aren't you guys attacking? Uh, once it gets to red, it will flame until it dies. So you need to go in and, and help that out eventually. Or it yeah, it will flame up and and you won't have a turret anymore. Okay, so we're doing good on medics. I do need more supply because I'm behind on that. Auto saving, sweet. So it'll save my spot right there. By the numbers, boys. I've got a decent supply of missile turrets. Let's go ahead and build another bunker out here. Um, using the shortcuts really helps out. Knowing that bunker is BU makes it so much faster. No, 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 no. Get behind. Get behind the bunker. Use the bunker as a shield. That is, th that's number one. Yeah, you want to let the bunker take all your damage at first. Looks like they're going to be coming on this side now. Here they come. We need immediate support. Hostiles all around us. Is anyone out there? All right, they are over there. Um, we're going to make this our new number one. We're going to head out. They do have a spine crawler. Um, if I did have stim pack, it would help out a lot right now. But I don't. Um, you just go ahead and build another supply depot, you too. All right, easy enough. And then yes, go ahead and take on the, sp the spine crawler. Oh, looks like I got two of them going at once. That's not a good strategy, but unfortunately, I have such a big ball that I can't help that. Let's go help out over here. Base is under attack. Oh, damn. Did not think they'd be attacking right now. All right, come on. Let's go up here. They took out the bunker. That's okay. Thanks for the assist. We're with you, Raider. All right, and then I need you guys all back into the base. Um, I do have plenty. No, not not a turret. I do have plenty of um, minerals, so I'm not too concerned. All right, yeah. Then at this point, this uh, just just get out of there. Yeah, sometimes the medics will stay behind. Which is not smart. Not smart at all. Base is under attack. Ah! No, get over there and help repair that. Alright, they, they're starting to swarm. It's not too bad though. My missile turrets are going to hold up as long as they're getting repaired at the same time. Alright. Build another turret up here. Um, I don't like the looks of that. This little zerg uh, creep tumor, so I'm going to take that out. Build another turret, just in case. Alright. Move over here, because I can, I can hear them. I'm behind on uh, production right now. So build another couple more of those. No, stay back. Ugh. I don't want. I don't want to go out unless I have to. Um, but the the ball's getting so big here. The and, uh, fine. I'm gonna make another barracks. Another two barracks, actually. Because I, I just have so many minerals. Keep making supply depots. I want to get up to 200 on supply. They can creep in as much as they want. I've gotten all the rebels. I just need to hold out. That is the only objective right now. I have too many medics right now, probably. So I'm going to get um, a reactor. Damn it. I did not see that. And there's nobody in that bunker, which is not smart at all. Get in there. All right. The doctor is in. Where's one of you? Hold out just a little longer. We'll be getting out of here soon. All right. Another reactor, another tech lab. Looks like this one wasn't positioned right, so I need to move it slightly. 
Mineral field depleted. All right, mineral mineral field depleted. That's not a good sign. Um, what that means is that one of the mineral fields is gone. You can see I'm down to seven, which means I do have too many SEVs now. And I believe something pops out of those. No. Add on complete. All right. What's going on? Go back to mining, because there's nothing more I want you to do. Um, all right. Now I can start catching up in production. Base just, just start spamming whatever you can. Bunkers, turrets, anything you want. They're definitely attacking more on this side now, so let's go ahead and try to. We're getting tore up out there. We're gonna fall back to high ground. Ugh, they want me to fall back. I don't really want to though, but I have to. It's fine, we got three minutes. At this point, there's not much they can do. If push comes to shove, you can actually lift off your base, uh, like this right here, lift off and move it down here, and they will not be able to finish uh, your base before the time runs out, and you'll win by default. All right, you guys go in there, you guys go in there. Let's start spamming these again. More turrets, I require more turrets. I'm good on supply for now. Just making as many marines and medics as I can. As you can see, I got four marines and three medics coming out at once. That's too many medics still, so I'm going to try to get a few, um, a few extra marines in that build. And just spam them all the way across the middle. There's really no way I can lose at this point. There really isn't. You got two minutes. They would for mutas to, to to win in a base race is mutas are slow in terms of attacking buildings, so I'm not concerned about that. There's no reason to keep this out here right now. I might need to build more um another supply depot, but I'm good. I'm good. We're good. We got this. We totally got this. Okay, all you medics need to get back here. I have way too many medics out front, which is not an ideal situation. Get out of there! You want the you want the medics in the back, you know? So they start just continually flooding in, which is fine because I'm continually producing. Is under attack. And then, yeah, all these mutas come in, but I got too many missile turrets right now. I'm making a little push because I didn't like the way that I was being formed. Uh, these guys were concaving in the middle here. Yeah. No problem. 41 seconds left. There's no way they can win. There's just no way. Way too many missile turrets for that one muta to take out. No problem. Easily done. Not even close. I mean, once once again, if push comes to shove, you guys are having a lot of trouble with this. What you want to do is lift off your base and then move it to the corner over here. It'll buy you an additional three minutes or so. It's really, really not um, too difficult to do this. If you are having trouble, though, that is one option you have. I thought he was going to talk there for a second. Sorry, that thing is epic. What the hell is that? Cavalry's arrived. Anyone still alive down there? Good to see you, Matt. Welcome to the party. Glad we made it in time, sir. Now let's get you boys out of there. We could use some help here. <laughs> and there we go. Zero hour completed. Uh, yeah, there's eight hatcheries. I believe you're supposed to destroy four of them for the achievement. Yeah, four on hard. So it's possible, and it'll definitely slow down their numbers, but I'm not a big fan of, of having to get that done. Um, 
yeah, it's it's pretty tough. But that's uh, that's zero hour. It's it's easier when you don't have to go out into the uh, into the Zerg fray to try to take out stuff. But that that's the mission. But we've met this new guy. Who's this guy that was in the battleship or battle cruiser? That thing that just completely wiped out everything. What the hell was that? And how do I get one? Are you guys gonna show me? I mean, this is an epic picture of of the battleship, battle cruiser taking on uh, all these mutilists. That, that's insane. Look at all that. And he's like, whatever. I know I'm smoking. I don't care. Is it time for a cutscene? It is. You've been holding out on me. Cutting it pretty close there, Matt. Never left you hanging before, sir. Fair enough. Just get us the hell out of here. All batteries, concentrate forward firepower. Spin up drives two and six. All hands brace for warp jump on my mark. Mark. We ain't seen the Zerg in years. Why attack Marsara now? It's not just Marsara. You need to see this. Zerg Swarm launched a full-scale attack. Devastation spread throughout all outer rim clumps. Sustained heavy losses. Casualties in the billions. Minutes ago, the Zerg attacked a Dominion military research facility. video footage confirms the Queen of Blades is in fact leading the swarm. And there we get the introduction of Kerrigan into the, the the game. Oh, sweet! We get on the Hyperion Bridge. It's about time. There's no telling what the Zerg will throw against us this time. Sir, we need to make sure our hardware and munitions are up to the challenge. Yeah, I'll check in with Swan down the armory. Knowing him, he's already got upgrades for us. I hate to ask, sir, but is there a reason that convict's still on my bridge? Easy, Matt. Tychus is one of my oldest friends. He helped me out of a real bind a few years back. I owe him. Well, your friend has a criminal record as long as... Mine? Believe me. If Tychus Finley wanted me dead, I'd be dead already. Understood, sir. So, sweet. We've moved on to the next portion of the game and we do have access to a lot of new stuff but we'll have to tackle that next time i hope you guys have enjoyed this part of let's play starcraft 2 i've been baller scuba i've been joined as always by jim rainer i guess he's always here hope you guys enjoyed this part hope you laughed hope you learned hope to see you next time thanks for watching